Hello, beautiful nerds. Welcome back to our weird experiment here where we're playing through Grand Blue Fantasy Relink as if it's a stream, but it's not really a stream because there's nobody watching me and I'm not live and I'm just recording it so I can put it on YouTube so that I can. Well, we're just trying. The last part, we started the game and it was dope. Uh, and we made it to our first town, which I believe is the Falco or uh, whatever they called it. We were able to see a new shop and a blacksmith. And, uh, already, uh, making connections with the locals. Oigen's already, aside, he did know all the talk in Auguste. Mercenaries sure are resourceful. So I guess I did a little bit more like looking into Grand Blue Fantasy and what that was. And I guess it started as like a web browser mobile game. So it sounds to me like that's where a lot of the story started, where potentially we would have seen these characters like Yugen and U Yugen, Oigen, Oigen, Ugen, Yugen. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty chill. Anyways, we have to talk to all of our uh, for our crewmates here around town. Ahoy, Captain. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> I love how they show that he's already drunk. Oh, oh. brother. At least one of us is. That's for sure. Come here. Let you in on a tip I heard. Word is there's a village that runs a mining operation on a nearby island. It's got an altar dedicated to get this. Primeval God. And when this God stirs up a wind, loads of ore gets exposed, ripe for the plucking. Then this town takes those mined ores to make the finest jewelry. Ooh. We'd be rich if we got in on the action somehow. You catching my drift? Anyway, gonna stay put and sniff around for more info. I'll let you know what I hear. Gonna... See you later, Captain. I'm sure that's the only reason. Just stick around. Just, just to stick around. I wait. What a cozy place. It's perfect for skyfarers. Wait, I love him. <laughs> I, I love that guy. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just reading the menu. Look at today's special. Folka. That's what it's called. Folka. We have a. We can check in Everything with her. Tasty. What do you want to eat? Uh, ooh, cheese. Yeah, no matter what. I'm thinking the cheese fondue. You I like that the main character is voiced. Luscious melty cheese. Dip bread and veggies as you please. Oh yeah, she's hungry. Everyone is. Nice. Looks like we can still. Does it do more? Is it the same? Oh, okay. The soup looks worth trying. I want the soup and Welcome the cheese fondue, actually. Ooh, I like barley. Delicious multigrain. Eat this soup and rid yourself of pain. Okay, that's cool that we can like. Well, sandwiches comes in the soup and the side. You know. Well, fan service uh, never hurt anybody, right? Hello, big guy. Who can I trust this key to? Side quest. Townspeople marked with an icon are in need of help. A good deed never goes unrewarded. A lingering regret. Nearly retired adventurer. My days as a big name treasure hunter are almost behind me. I made one too many blunders, you see. Thing is, there's something my partner and I were after that continues to elude us. Think you can get it for us? We do get a silver key and an Aegis if we do this. So that sounds pretty cool. We need to get a golem finger. So we'll accept the quest. And I think requirements haven't been met yet. So we'll just need to look for one, I think is how that works. When we get one, we know now that we can turn it into him. Well, actually, New arrivals. Oh, is there like a time-based thing? So it looks like we can actually get a land beast claw. Why is that available now? Because that definitely wasn't there before. Okay. 
I mean, I don't know what I did to make that pop up, but that's cool. I love the I love you I I I like the the What's this? the races of folks so far? Like the character designs. I was saying this in the first part. The character designs look really good. We can't take out our weapon here. We did change the way our character looks though. Um just, damn. Jump right up, folks. Feast your eyes on my incredible merchandise. I like how there's just like it's just oh we need a key we need a special key there should be something good in there if it's locked right what if we need a silver key which we get from that side quest i wonder how many towns there are or if it's just like because in the demo i wonder if the primeval gods are real in the demo there was just the one town but i'm curious if um like more opens up as you as you progress through training again Yes, old military habits die hard. We also we also found out that she has betrayed the Earth Day Empire to save Lyria. Who knows where we'd be now? Oh, she did betray the Empire. Okay, that's what I thought. So she also has uh Prime the The Astral Ares, who was reborn as a primal, is linked with her. I don't know what that means in the context, but it sounds cool. I might get in some training. I once spent hours practicing my strikes. Oh, no wonder you're a master swordswoman. She's also voiced by Erica <laughs> Lindbeck, yet, the voice of Jesse in Final Fantasy you're VII no Remake. Either, buddy, but I wonder who's better, you or Catalina? Mm, Catalina. Yeah. Probably Catalina. <laughs> it's hard to say at a glance. So it might be fun to cross swords sometime. You mean like a sparring match? I wouldn't know who to root for. Then why not both? Oh, you're right. There's no rule that says I can only pick one side. She literally got betrayed the Empire and changed her entire life for you. Before we proceed any further. I have just one thing. Make sure to check our mastery points from time to time. Battles may begin to feel tense if we don't sharpen our skills. We do? Okay, so that's... So we have... We got mastery points for, I think, pre-ordering the game. Or the deluxe edition or something. Characters gain mastery points upon leveling up. Mastery points are spent to raise stats, learn skills, and more. Now would be a perfect time to see that in action. Let's have the captain acquire a new skill. Noise. All right. So, oh, and they also give us a new side quest option now in our menu. Every character can become a powerhouse. Let's start with the cat. Every character can become a powerhouse. That's my type of RPG, baby. Each mastery node is unlocked with mastery points. Select the armor break node. Ah, so that's one of our new skills. So we actually had that already in the demo, and it was really cool. Uh, it lowers the defense of the enemy we're fighting. So, yeah, we'll grab that. Oh, that's how it's done. Congratulations on acquiring a new skill. How you develop your characters from now on is in your hands. We have a ton of mastery points. If these only cost two then we have a lot. I don't know. That seems weird to me, but um, I think we'll wait before spending a lot of these because press square right after jumping to launch foes into the air, leaving them open to aerial attacks. Boost attack power. Honestly, if uh, if Final Fantasy 16 would have had like stuff like this and whatnot, like I know it had the... Uh, if it had the amount of, like, RPG elements that I'm seeing from this game already, I think the conversation surrounding that game would be very, very different, you know? So, I'm assuming there's, like, an end node to these trees, too? We can zoom out. Clear Chapter 5 of the main story to unlock. A sigil slot. Uh, unlock Boost critical hit rate during link time. Boost stun power. We get a skill called Decimate that looks amazing. Hmm. But I think we'll wait because there might be a character or something that we just decide to uh, kick booty with. Enables the use of perfect dodge. Dodge right before a foe's attack lands to temporarily gain invincibility. 
That actually sounds pretty darn cool, doesn't it? Uh, and then perfect guard. Guard right before a foe's attack lands to fill the stun gauges of surrounding foes. Dang! Both of those actually sound really good. And they're cheap. It's not like it's... Yeah, maybe we'll just grab those. Good stuff. Yeah, I think I get it. On the road to oh, mastery trophy. Unlock a character action node for masteries for the first time. Look at us. We're we're I'll so cool. Day and night. I mustn't fall behind our captain after all. Uh-huh. I, maybe I should have given her a skill just to be nice. We also have the so obviously we have skills here. Be sure to assign skills to your characters in order to use them. So in this case it automatically did uh because of like we have armor break. Fast lunge attack that inflicts defense down on a foe. Get forked, foe. Uh, but yeah, we can change that if we want to put it on different things. There's also loadouts, it looks like, so we can change based on, like, that is just, that is cool. To be like, oh, there we go. It'll have different loadouts. I guess that makes sense because there's just so many characters. You don't have to have to keep going through. And if all of those characters also have all these different skills and weapons and builds and, oh, man. Actually, gonna be pretty bonkers with this is gonna be this is a bonk this might be a bigger game than i was thinking side quest screen organizes all the side quests you've encountered you can also use it to instantly travel to a client please put that in every side every game every game for side quest stuff like that's so good my day is a yeah so we already read that and we can choose to go right to them and then, of course, uh, Lyria has her, her journal, too, that we can check out. We did get a new trophy. I don't know if it's worth checking these. Yeah, I mean, picked up. We got loot for one of the other. I don't know for which one here. Maybe. Probably got a one of the trophies. There. I love that there's trophies, like, in the game. Always prepared. Save a loadout for the first time. Oh, that's cool. Save three loadouts. Save five loadouts. And get glitter stones and you can sell those so treasures on your wish list so we just have to add stuff to our our wish list so that we can get more of those that's cool might as well just do that now then right just free we just get free rafals coins you get free you just get free stuff dude i like free stuff inventory all right so we'll do uh wish list You can search for quests that drop these items at the quest counter. Add, remove. There we go. Okay, I see, I see. Um, add to wish list. Okay, cool. And then I can be like, boom, add to wish list. Boom, add to wish list. Boom, add to wish list. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Okay, all right. And then that should give me that should give me those trophies then and I can claim all of those as well. Free stuff for doing literally just interacting with the Yeah. I need 20 treasures on my I literally they I literally don't have enough of those. All right, so we got a Rafal coin. Actually get a I mean they don't give you much, but still, that's cool. Um And then can we actually do You know what else we could do then? This way we can get some some fat moolahs super early. Is do we can go to skills and then do loadouts and uh oh and then do save current loadout. Cool. And then do that for if we just do that for all of them. Right? Should be easy enough to do. Oops. intercept these are gonna be this is gonna be really fun to um oops try out all these different characters rosetta sounds super fun she's she's a primal reincarnated whatever the whatever like i don't, don't know how the primal eth ether gods stuff works here but astrals that's what it's called all right so we'll just do that and we'll get the there we go cool you can also set trophies to be like whichever one I think shows up on your your character. 
So for like online events and whatnot. Looks like they're going to make... They gave us a bunch of stuff to be able to blast through the story if we want to. All right, we got to go find everybody. Hello. What should we do first? So many choices. You can also find these little archive notes. That one's need a handyman. And those just kind of tell you a little bit more lore, it feels like, about the areas that you're in. I like my lore. I'll take that. We can also, we know now that we can find chest in here. Hello. Agreed to meet by the water wheel. Makes me wait for him every single time. Ugh, I'm going home. Oh, you mean how, like, Bahamut almost killed us and destroyed our ship in our way of doing anything and the journey that Gran is on to get to the the last island or, or the... I forgot what they called it. Us, 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 Les, Us, yeah. Prism ship? That's good. That's on our wish list. <laughs> Just like every other item I could possibly have. I have noticed that the characters do seem to repeat stuff in town. Like, if you're just, like, idling or whatever, you'll just, you'll hear the same thing over and over and over. All right, this guy's out of Whirl Shrooms. He needs three of them. Actually, that's perfect, because I have three. I smell a new mission. So we just can, we can immediately, I try to help, and we got a trophy. Complete a side quest for the first time. We get fortitude. So we got 45 XP. And the wolves that we were fighting earlier gave us 3 XP each time we defeated them. We also got 5 mastery points as well, which we know is... On you. Early on is actually pretty useful. And we got trophies. You got a new trophy. You got a bunch of new trophies, actually, from that. Which is cool. I like that there's in-game trophies and, like, PlayStation trophies. In-game trophies that... Some of them actually give you stuff too, which I which I really like. Game does feel like the, at least playing through the story, the balancing might end up being a little a little wonky, a little goofy, considering the weapon that you get for pre-ordering the game or whatever What's is Rosetta doing? absurd. Probably better not to ask. Every rose has its thorns, and every primal beast has her secrets. Oh, I think we ask her. I think we asked her. There's another chest there too, but I don't have a silver key. Nice of you to drop by, Lyria. Come to see my part of town? Actually, I wanted to ask you how I could help the crew. Is that so? Well, I'd say there's no need to stress out about it. But I want to be useful and do my share. I like the little like animations they add to the oh, face dear. just to be like embarrassed I think or you drunk. Might be overthinking this. something I can do? Let's see. Guidebooks are pretty useful. Ever thought about writing one? Yeah, she actually already is. Write my own guidebook? Just jot down the fun things you've seen and done. Whatever you want to share with us. Better than complaining all the time. That's like the opposite of being helpful. <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'll write the best guidebook ever. Damn, dragon, you rude. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. Such a refreshing breeze. Rosetta's, Rosetta's definitely, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? So if we go to Lyria's journal, is it going to have, like, a different thing now and say guidebook? Uh, I don't see any. We do have the need a handyman. Let me fix your problems. Tired of old creaky furnitures? Bad relationship got you down? Then bring your problems to Mr. Fix It. I can't find my cat. I've I've solved issues like these and more. Head on down to the church today to get your free consultation. Okay, cool. And then there's also the different glossary stuff. And then we have the trophies if we wanted to grab. Story and quest. So those are all from the side quest then that I think we did there. So yeah, windswept, helpful na neighbor. Okay, so Folka has. Looks like we'll have different. 
Actually, it kind of looks like there might just be the... That's interesting. It looks like it might just be the... Um, the one town. Which is kind of cool, actually. Kind of like when... Like other... Maybe probably other like smaller things, but this is like our hub. And I, I kind of think that's cool. I don't think I can add anything to my wish list here. We do, of course, have... We got a health sigil, which we can also upgrade. Uh, but it's only a health one, so... Probably not worth upgrading the smaller ones. Sick of country life. Making it big in the city, just you wait. I'm gonna be making it in the big city. Well, well, maybe there's gonna be a city. What should we do first? So many choices. I know, I know. I, I hear you. Why does no one realize how dangerous they are? Am I the only one who sees the truth? I have a responsibility to... No, wait. It's too soon. Too soon to do what? What are you gonna do? What is happening? <gasps> Cats. Can we pet them? No. We can we can step on them though. That's rude. Can. All right. So I came down from that way. We'll probably get a. Oh, I've seen a lot of action today. So let's take the How many centuries has it been now since the Empire of Old drove out the vile astrals? Yet a great many years have passed by in peace, and a great many more to come. One hopes. I like that guy's uh, his beard. It's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good bush. That's not what I, that's not what I meant. This breeze never gets old. They made those specific characters very fan -basey. Hey, I like the items. Prism chips, it looks like we're finding prism chips. Wow. Another chest, let's go. <laughs> nice find. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Like in the demo, you could jump on even just looking at that building, it's clear that we can jump onto the roofs and stuff. Wow. Okay. Well, that kind of didn't work, but good to know. We can come grab this. Get another Rafal coin. And then there's, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a oh, gold key. I don't have a gold key. Let's come back once we found a key. Okay. Can we mark that, though, or something? It's like we don't forget it's there because you know me. I don't even know how I got over here. Okay. Definitely, like, it's cool. It's cool. Very pretty game. Like I said, I don't know how the story or anything is going to be overall. Right now, it, there's definitely some mysteries that I'm curious about, but can we go in the water? No. But the, if you, I mean, it feels like what you would want out of uh, out of an art action RPG type of thing. Awesome. Fishing tournament flyer. Only the mosquitoes, <laughs> but never mind them. Who might you folks be? We're skyfarers. We're visiting Sega Grande and just landed here today. You don't say. Kids your age already skyfaring. Got to start them young, I guess. <laughs> How old are you? It said something about how that, that race of folks is uh, significantly older and wiser than they look. It's interesting that, why did that one have, like, why did that one have uh, voice acting? A lot of the other NPCs don't. Hey, do you like crabs? Crabby Resonance. Oh, hey, I have one of those. So Lil Pince is who we're, we're giving this stuff to. I'm guessing that's the kid that we... This boy rescues rare creatures called Wee Pincers. If you find one, he'll be happy to take it in. And, lucky for us, I did find one in the, like, forest that we started in. Alright, so we'll accept that so that we have it. Again, because we want that. Because then we can teleport to our... We can teleport to them. We'll fast travel to them. We'll go right to the client. Are they going to confess their love for each other? Which two? Those two? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Blast those goblins. Gob we need to defeat goblin stormers. Alright. 
of the town. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see... We're not going to be able to fight goblin stormers, I think, for a little bit here. This just goes right back around. Yeah. All right, well, we have a new sigil that we just got for turning in the... Doing the crab stuff. All right, what you got? Blacksmith. Got an order? Like, I like... Sigils improved? I already like the... Oh, maybe it wasn't a sigil? I definitely had other sigils. Want to sell something? Let's see what you got. All right, looks like we can sell the... Oh my gosh, why for that much? Oh, because of the glitter crystals. I like it when numbers go up. Acquire a total of 100,000 rupees. I basically did nothing for that. We could sell sigils too. See, why can't I level that one? Oh, maybe they need to be equi equipped your first. Weapons, your weapons won't betray you. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the. Um, mastery skills gear, sigils, stamina, health. All right, so let's do. Yeah, I think that's what needs. So this is crabby resonance, which is what we we got that from turning that one in. Raises trait level based on Wee Pincers Rescued. You then gain the associated effect. That's kind of neat. We'll go ahead and equip uh, Zachram with that, and then we'll give her the health. This way we can potentially upgrade those now. Skyfarers, huh? which one? Show me. Huh. I guess not. Because it says where they're equipped, but it must be Don't forget about upkeep. something with those that you can't actually upgrade certain. I don't know. Eo. Eo. She's come a long way since we met on Fremont. But how much she knows about magic? I still can't believe she's younger than me. Get that extended okay. You looking at? She looks yeah. mad. <laughs> you dumb lizard! <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. Ugh, for the millionth time, I ain't no lizard. So, what you doing, Eo? <sighs> Checking out the makeup selection. Ooh, that's so grown up. An elegant lady knows the importance of looking her best. I see. I still don't know anything about makeup. It's so, it's so, I love it. It's pretty, but a dab here or there could bring out a whole new you. Really? You're really ugly, actually. Here's some makeup. How about this? Next time we'll do our faces together. With Rosetta's tutoring, of course. Aren't you curious how Lyria will look, Captain? Uh, what? I, that's my only options? Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Don't take that the you wrong way. Be a sophisticated lady too. So she's obviously like some all-powerful thing, right? I don't know what most of this stuff is for. She can summon Ooh, Look at this. And this. And that. <laughs> she can summon Proto Bahamut, so like I'm assuming like who knows what else she could do at this point. All right, so we need to find Rackham, who looks like he's... Oh, he's all the way over here. Oh, yeah, we didn't come over here. Rackham headed straight for the docks, huh? He takes such good care of the Grand Cypher. Right. I guess after everything we've put her through, she deserves the TLC. <sighs> the breeze feels almost welcoming, like an old friend. All right. Well, let's talk to let's talk to Rackham. Huh. Airship of that size is a first for me, but I reckon I can handle her. Uh, sorry for pushing you guys. <laughs> Shucks, it ain't nothing. I'll leave this spot empty, so go ahead and fly her in. Thanks a million. I'll get right on it. it reminds me of Ned Flanders from Hi. Simpsons. I don't know why. Well, look who it is. I managed to find a place that can patch up the Grand Cipher. Just the other thing uh, that I do like is you can actually open the glossary at any point during conversations to see 
what if like there's something that they're talking about that you don't know i think that's really cool whoa whoa what are you talking about you had nothing to do with it but i look it was a random accident no one could have known our dragon friend would go all crazy uh, I do, it's not her fault, but I do wonder what upset Bahamut. Wonder what upset Bahamut. Oh, beats me. I just hope it's not an omen of bad things to come. <sighs> no point losing or shadowing. over what ifs. <laughs> Let's just forget about it for now, okay? <sighs> okay, thanks for cheering me up. There's that smile. Besides, we're in a new Skydom. Let's see some more enthusiasm, huh? Anyway, I'd better go move the Grand Cipher before anything happens to her. I wonder if she was if fun. she was like I got the ship covered. supremely evil at some point, and then looking around, we can start heading to the meetup spot a little early. And then became, you know, and then became uh like lost her memories or something, and then became good because she couldn't remember anything in Grand, like brought out the good you know very ana animui little tropey tropes right, so it doesn't look like we can do anything else here yeah i just wanted to see if there was more items or anything but i don't think so at the moment anyways we do have to we have stuff that's like side quests and we don't even we didn't even unlock the quest system yet so that's where oigen was he was near there uh yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the others. I really like this little guy though, Vern. Look, it's the Grand Cipher. Oh yeah, Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. How did we survive that fall, though, you know? We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip, but you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. Poor Catalina. <laughs> And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. Uh-oh. There's like a weird, sometimes the dialogue, because you can set it to autoplay, and sometimes it goes fine. Other times it's like there's like weird delay between what they're... Oh, it's oh, that's weird. It changes your. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> He's toasted. Sorry, huh? kept y'all waiting. Cipher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn. It seems. Anyone will. Uh, almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Is this Mr. Fix It? He's in the demo. <clears throat> Pardon my rudeness. I uh, don't do well with lizards. No lizard. <laughs> it, it can talk. I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to start. Oh, that's not a, like a normal and thing. Okay. Don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. 
Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon. Huh. Sky Ferris, you say? I like how Rackham looks like, oh no. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <sighs> Roland. You've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. Oh, a interesting. Tornado? That's something of anger, Tempil's primal beast? Huh? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. So the demo is like basically right. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for Right now. after this. That makes sense. Hey, wait! He sure ran off in a hurry. And I New heard him it. say primal beast. We should follow him. Chase after the man. Yeah, we'll do that. But like, wait, there's something in the journal. <laughs> New glossary term, Tempeel. That must be the area that we're in, maybe? Uh, oh, we can see Roland now because he's another. Sean Chiplock is his voice actor. Is it Vakar? Yeah, so he was the, he was like the handyman type of guy. That's cool. I like their portraits too. Uh, archives, we have the fishing tournament one. Come on down for a day at the pond. The fisher god is as unpredictable as the weather. Attendance not guaranteed. Nice. Um, and then there was the, the new one that we just got. Uh, Tim Peel. A mining settlement famed for its rare ore. Oh, that's what they were talking about. An altar enshrining a primeval god lies within the surrounding mountains. Legend says that this deity watches over the miners and guides them to the thick, shimmering veins of metal and minerals. Sorry, things got weird there for a sec. I don't... I mean, all right. It is weird that anytime you leave Lyria's journal, it like takes a sec. But that might be because I'm again I'm playing the PS4 version on the PS5 because of it has the the auto popping for trophies is a is a available thingamajig. But oh, I already I already talked to you. We're good. So you just said excuse me. I didn't want to be rude. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the quest system. This is where it is. That's the like co-op stuff that you can do. What do we do? What do we do? We're here to help. So the altar suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Mm. Yeah, it does. Nope. <laughs> Smells fishy. It's got to be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Want to see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Sounds an awful lot like a primal beast to me. Well, we can't ignore people in trouble. I wonder if any of this matters. Sounds an awful lot like a primal beast to me. It's like, hey, in case you want to know what a primal beast is. Yep, which means there's only one way to handle this. So the astrals were like gods. I, I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me. Ah. Hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? Allow us to join you. It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. 
Fetch a round of drinks, whatever you're facing has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? With you? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Hmm. So Skyfarers well, seem to be like a would certainly be welcome. fairly altruistic. Well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out. I I think we're good. I have a sword that gives me like oh, 90 right. attack. Oh, okay. Up to four characters can be in your party at one time. It's your choice who you want to adventure with. Party. Party formation. Let's pick a party of four. The character in the leftmost slot is the one you control. The captain must be in the party for the main story, but you can play as any character you like. All right. So for now, I think we're just going to roll with him uh, or the, the main character just because. And then I think we'll use... I want to use... I definitely want to use Rosetta because, oh, it's, wait, are you, oh, you want me to, okay, I have Ready. to use Catalina, I see. Uh, you may now edit the rest of your party members, however, the capture must be, okay. Oh, no, I can change, I can change well, her now, they just action. wanted to. All right, we're going to use no, Rosetta. We're going to use uh, Rackham. He's actually super, he's really cool. Um, actually, I think I want to use you, Eugen. Kept me waiting long enough. Yeah, let's use Eugen, and you can see their power level too, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter who we choose, but let's go ahead and use Eo's cool. Let's use. I've got you covered. Yeah, let's go. We'll go super offensive for this. Oh wait, okay. See that counter? That's where we can pick up new quests. Let's check back often, okay? Okay. Wait, can we do that right now, though? Overcoming tough foes. Clear quests to raise your level and get resources for upgrading weapons and sigils. You'll also earn mastery points used for unlocking new skills and stats. Unlock fate episodes. Learn more about a character by viewing their fate episodes. It's also a good way to gain extra stat boost. Fate episodes are accessed from... Oh, okay... I didn't see those on the demo. That dude's gonna need serious help fixing the tornado problem. I, yeah, that's true. All right, well, let's check out the quest counter first. If you're looking for coin, I can help you find jobs from all over the Skydom. So, would you be interested in taking a quest or two, or uh, maybe more? <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Take on various requests from the quest counter and earn valuable rewards for clearing them. Select play online to challenge quests with other players. Give it a shot when you're in the mood for some coop. Fate episodes updated. Our uh, special character specific stories. More episodes are unlocked as the game progresses and characters level up. So, and it makes your stats go up. I wonder if... I'm like very curious to check these out, but I almost wonder if we should do them like, if you should do them like all at once. Our duty now lies solely with protect. Yeah, I wonder. Um, the cool thing about the quest is if you undertake them, they're very quick. It's also stocked with quest uh, crew alliance Rafal is always stocked with quest for the intrepid. Skyfarer, organized by location, difficulty, and type. Add a treasure to your wish list and then head over to the quest counter. There you'll be able to search for quests that you have. That's cool. So we can go by island, by difficulty, by type. I don't think it matters, honestly. I think we'll just do by island. Defeat all goblins. Um, defeat, worry about Papa. And then, oh, and you can see what you get from it. That's cool. Rupee, Rupee Tycoon, Stun Power, Standard Refinium, um, Protect Our Woods is Conquest. So these are all, these are all, this is the co-op thing, right? Like you can do these pretty easily. Um, if you hit square, you can search by treasure, which is cool. But you can go play online and you can do it that way. So if I do undertake quest by island, do the, do that one quick. 
Um, my papa's a lumberjack, but I know there's a big monster leaving, leaving in the forest. I'm worried about papa. Can somebody be the monster, please? That's cute. So you get, you get items. Hang on. So you get clear side goals are clear within a minute. Don't enter critical condition more than one time. Clear within three minutes. So, okay. So clear within a minute and you get all that. Uh, drop items, foes, and rewards. Those are all the rewards that you can get. And then for doing it the first time. So you want to you wanna do at least every quest at least once. Make sure you have everything ready. Then press square to confirm you're ready. All right, see you. And I can just do that. I have a feeling because we have this sword, we're going to be able to spank them. Skill icons, visual indicators. If they're darkened, we can... Oh, what was this one? Blue potion restores some health to the entire party. Revival potion instantly rescues you. Mega potion restores all of your health. And green does some. Oh, yes. This guy again. Yeah, the quest system, the quest system is going to be what's really cool, I think. Controlling the captain. The young man is on a journey to reach Esta, Asta Lucia. He's a solid choice for any situation. Learns all type of skills for, okay. Captain creates various combos. Uh, pulling off combos raises the captain's... We already... We know all this, actually, but that's okay. Go ahead and... Well. All right, so we got to go zoom, though. Looking good. Oh my god, we're doing so much damage. That's crazy. All right, well, armor break. Oh, I missed the I missed the opportunity for the break there. Woo, there's his overdrive. Looks like there's different types. Some bosses gain the bloodthirst effect. Makes skybound arts ineffective, greatly reduces the damage taken. But it's only it's only for a little bit. So there's actually I don't remember see that the first time we fought it we are in a rush to do damage to it because of the time limit go 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 looking good just like that Nice moves. Okay, so I was able to get a the perfect dodge there. Oh, you can see the chunks that I'm doing though. So he's gonna do his that. Link attack. Oh, that did so much damage. Like, even if he takes, like, some reduced damage. Ow. Just, like, dodge all that. Alright, so we're not going to be able to... Obviously, oh, 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 move, move. We're not going to be able to do the. Looking good. What do you think? Oh, he's almost dead. Finish him off. There we go. You got a new trophy from Humble Beginnings. We were able to do that one super easily, but that sword that we have is also just absurd. Sweet. Everyone leveled up from three to five there. See, so we weren't able to get the clear within one minute, but it didn't really feel like we could do that yet, you know? Uh, but maybe. Yeah, nice job, team. But like, if you upgrade your, if you upgrade even more. Estalusia. Not that I can upgrade anymore, but. Yeah, and then we won't get the max rank that we can get here, I don't think. 
Yeah, I think you have to... Oh, okay. You do get some. We won't be able to get the top rank, though, because of the... That's really cool, though. No healing needed. Skill lover math. Okay, so there's... That's gonna be so cool. That's all the stuff that we got. First clear rewards. We got the... Standard refinium. Stun power. Ref uh, coins. Side goal rewards. Five of those. Dro and then drop items from actually defeating the thing, too. Those are from the side goals. Right, right, right. Okay. That's cool. Are you done? Yes. Big fan of that. 200 XP, too, from that. So they went from level three to five. I Yeah, I'm very curious to see, then, like, how easily you can... I doubt it's going to be grindy, especially story stuff. Feels like you can probably just go boom, boom, bam, wah, bam, slam. You know? Might even be able to do literally all of these quests. Come to view the requests. Undertake right. quest and do the... Yeah, so, like, we have that. We got the S rank, but we could obviously do better. Um, and then bash the horde, the goblin hordes. Uh, clear within two minutes. Don't enter critical. Defeat two foes Good with thrown objects. So we can do that. So I think this was also, this was on the demo too. Yeah, let's, uh, we can do that. Let's do it. Obviously, if you're playing, like if you're playing with people, it's probably, my assumption is, especially if it's like friends and you're on Discord and stuff together, it's probably quite easy to get those S plus things. There we go. Let's do it to it. You can also turn this off. If they want to fight, they've got one. Like the... Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so then we can... We got this in the bag. Why are Ha-ha! There we go. Looks like we got a second to catch our breath before things heat up again. I don't know where they came from before. There we go. So actually, there was a side quest to defeat these, and I wonder if that'll count. We actually saw that Oigen actually leveled up during that. See, my thing is just like, I'm, I know that I'm going to be really, really bad with anything timing based I'm like oh no way I'm gonna get screwed seeing if any of those I'm not liking the look of this but don't let it intimidate you they have a witch doctor looking good just like that oh no I got hit that's okay on my mark Oh, that's so cool, though. We're definitely going to need to deal with goblin soldiers. Is there more? Uh oh. Yeah, it feels like we just don't have the... It says clear within two minutes that we we did it. Oh, maybe it stops the counter once all of them are down? I think that's everything. You were awesome out there. No, you, Vern. Cute. Skyfarers never fail. Yeah. And, and like, obviously, this is where you get to really play all of the different characters. Right? Oh, see, we're already in the S without even getting any of the side order stuff done. Um. There we go. There's S plus plus. Leave it to Beaver. 
probably need to there's probably a trophy for getting that on all of them definitely seems like we got less xp though for doing that but we did get more rewards for getting the s like it's still worth it yeah that's that's cool that's cool could be swimming and stuff dude Two hundred or so, whereas we got a we got. Well, I guess it's probably not that much different XP wise. The Quaker Dial definitely felt like we got more XP, but I also I wouldn't say it was harder, but uh, we also have a site, so we can go to this guy now. And hello, report that, and then he'll give us a new attack power and fortitude shards. And that leveled up. Okay, so that leveled up the people that didn't get to go with us. Oh, so they don't share XP. Good to know. Skyfarers, huh? I'll make a decision once I see what you've got. We can sell stuff. We can upgrade What's weapons, but we can't with the the sword that we got. The false sword. This is as it doesn't go any higher. So uh, potentially this sword might end up being, you know, the most powerful that we can. I'll handle it. Like we can make that go up to level 10. Pretty cheap, actually. Good. So if we do that, we get we actually get XP for doing that. Which is interesting. But the it's at its maximum level cap. So there's there's probably then a way to maybe break that. That's something that will probably be found out. Probably something we'll find out a little bit later, I think. And then, the, the, so their different weapons also have different traits. Although it looks like maybe... Yeah, we auto-level. I think we could just do that. It seems cheap enough. And just be like, boom, there you go. You get XP. So, like, I don't know if there's any real reason to do that, but... I'll handle it. Why not? How about that? How about that? This is like all their beginning stuff, so I feel like it's probably I'll handle it. Success. It's super cheap to do it. Like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. Especially because it's not like all of these I'll resources, at least at this level, you do one quest and you you have more than enough to get theirs up to the whatever the cap is at the moment. Um and by doing that, then you can also just do the quest more efficiently and faster anyways, right? So what I guess what you really want to find is a character that's really, really good at specific things. Like, this, this character is really, really good at dealing with bosses. This character is really good at wave clear. This boss, you know what I'm saying? Um, we, need a, we need a golem claw for that other guy. The Fate episodes, though, that's that's the one that I'm a little curious about. All right, so why don't we go ahead and finish? Might as well do all of these. We'll do this one. I don't think there was a conquest. I don't think there was a conquest one that I remember seeing previously. Hit ready. I do feel like the the stuff that you get for I don't know if it's from pre-ordering or if it was from the the d digital edition thing, but it feels like you get maybe some stuff that's like a little too good. We ready? You're bringing the whole circus, huh? Oh. Your Let's go! It's a Dog! Not like, but like wolves, not like dog dog, you know? They're also weak to us, so. Oh, okay, interesting. I see how this works. It's an air raid! Uh, 
I don't see any throwable items. But we need to defeat three foes with... Maybe there's going to be a spot soon. Rock'em just... Rack'em? Just leveled up from stuff. Oh, yep, I see it. Oh, no. Is there more barrels I can throw? Yep. Oh, it does little damage, though. Alright, so we need to, like, get them low. Oh, I don't think that worked. Well, I, mean, I don't know. I, I did, actually, because the objective says it's done. Oh, I didn't clear it, though. I wonder... So, to get S+, plus, though, you probably have to do... Probably have to do everything. Charge my. Oh, that's cool. The bur. Oh, there's so many of them now. Looking good. Because, like, obviously, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to try out some of these other characters. I know Rock'em is, like, he feels really fun. Because he's just, oh, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. Because he's, like, a ranged, but he just keeps, like, scattershot and everything. And I think that's everything. You were awesome out there. Thanks, Vern. Yeah, I would definitely, th I definitely think that the quest system is probably, like, it's cool. I like it. I like that it's fast, too. Like, a lot of these objectives are, like, beat within, like, a minute. You're like, okay, cool. Uh, but definitely, probably more, f definitely, probably, definitely, you know what I mean. Uh, more fun with, with your friends and stuff, if you have any. Not saying you don't. I'm just saying I, you know, I don't, I don't know your life. Uh, definitely less XP, though, for that. But that's okay. Just wanted to get... The, wanted to do all the quests, because I'm curious to see if we do all the quests, if more of them will show up. But I think it's probably linked to... Uh, it seemed like they were saying it's linked to story or level. And then the Fate episodes, I'm also very curious about. Um, I do want to check those out. So let's see... If anything else pops up here... Yeah, I think it's just the... Yep. Okay. Well... So we have Fate episodes. On the remote island of Zinkenstil lived a young man and his best pal, Vern. So we read about that. Oh, okay. Prologue. Her name is Lyria. Wait a minute. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's do it. Let's view this Fate episode. Maybe this is how we actually get the story. Our adventure began with a strange light falling over my home island of Zinkenstil. I chased it to the impact site, where I found a blue-haired girl named Lyria and a knight, Catalina. The girl was shaken, and pretty soon I learned the reason why. She was on the run from Erste Empire soldiers. I knew an unfair fight when I saw one. So I stepped up to protect Lyria from those awful tyrants. Catalina and I fended them off well enough, but when their backs were in the corner, they released a fire-breathing Hydra. It charged me, sending me flying into the tree line. 
moments away from death, all I could think about was Dad. He'd been the one who trained me, and he'd done a great job, but... Well, <laughs> who expects their son to get attacked by a five-headed horror? He was going to be devastated. So, it's all over. Just as I began to sink into darkness, a gentle light enveloped my body. Lyria, breathed by a mystical halo, was floating above me with her hand outstretched. She explained that she was going to merge our life forces. As you do, yeah. Fortunately, it worked. From that moment forward, Lyria and I would be inextricably linked. Looking into her blue eyes, I knew I had nothing to fear, not even death itself. I wonder people, if if this is how life, a greater whole. Lyria had taken a huge risk to save me. Now, if one of us got hit with a fatal blow, it was curtains for both. And that thought awakened in me a desperate hunger for survival, for life. The next moment, Lyria and I felt this reverberation of power. Love. The torrent of emotion rushing from me had awakened something. Darkness and flame swirled around us, coalescing into a massive dragon, Bahamut. With him on our side, we made short work of the Imperial Hydra. Now that their trump card had been blasted into oblivion, the Imperial Army had no choice but to run. From Sometimes us. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't chased that light. No Lyria. No lifelink, no adventure. Man, I probably wouldn't even have set foot off of Zinkin still. Fate's a funny thing, isn't it? I wonder if all the episodes are Since just going to be text Lyria, like this, or fair share I'm kind of surprised they don't even show you. And pain and suffering. But the Grand Cipher crew doesn't buckle under pressure. We'll take on anything the journey throws at us. No regrets. No regrets. But it, a fateful encounter. Complete a Fate episode prologue for the first time. Literally raises our stats, though. Not by much, but, like, that's, I think that's kind of cool. Next episode is now available. Um, all right, so out of curiosity, finish episode one. Character level 10 or higher, progress through their main story, finish episode two. Okay, so, yeah, look, character level 60 or higher to get the epilogue. Uh, Gran meets Catalina, who are fleeing... Oh, okay, previous summary. View the next Fate episode. If these are only text-based little things, then... Definitely a... Uh... Where was I? Oh, right. We just humiliated the Empire, who probably had reserves waiting somewhere close by. We realized we needed to get off Zinkin still. Fast. Zinc is still such a funny name. I mean, while Lyria was on the loose. that definitely feels like I a little bit of a li missed opportunity, but, now and all, it was but like, it's better this than nothing together. for sure. Plus, I'd always wanted to explore the far reaches of the skies, though doing it on the run, not what I had in mind. There was so much to think about, so much to decide, but all those plans could come after we had escaped Zinc and still. I didn't want a whole army, this time with, I don't know, 30 Hydras marching on my home island. And, well, I had another, more personal reason for wanting to leave. Yeah, his dad told him to go. Before I knew it, our journey was at an end. The end. As in, we'd reached the end of the skies. My son, I'm waiting for you on Estelucia. Oh, he actually made it. It I wasn't just like dad's a... Letter. Missed him. When I was young, he would take me to the edge of the island and we'd sit there, admiring the clouds. I wanted so badly to explore those skies, just like Dad. I had to see him again. And now, I wouldn't have to make that journey alone. With Vern, Lyria, and Catalina at my side, we commandeered a small Imperial craft and set out for the greatest of destinations. Estelucia. That's cool. I think, I mean, I think that's neat. And then literally goes right into, so might as well do that one, right? Uh, 
I mean, it's cool. It's cool to me that it literally increases your stats just by the moment we doing this Zinkin's little story field, thing. There's so many things that interact with your stats in this game. Least. Catalina, who claimed to be an experienced pilot, <laughs> crashed our small vessel onto the gusty fields of Port Breeze. But we quickly pulled ourselves together and found a new ally and helmsman in the form of Rackham. Since then, we gained more and more allies. And no matter what obstacle we faced, the crew always worked in tandem to find a solution. It's all thanks to their support that I've made it this far. And what a wild ride it's been. To think I had never even set foot off of Zinkin still. But now, I can't even count the number of islands we've saved, let alone visited. Sure, being a roving band of heroes is I like you can hide the text to just... Perks. New faces, new places, and a whole airship's worth of fun. Who could pass this life up? Anyway, we've just begun the next chapter of our adventure. We discovered another piece of the sky map, which led us to Zega Grande. Yeah, which is where we are now. New Skydom. Just imagine the danger, the promise. Another piece but of the I sky map. So the sky thing is... Huh. Just another set of memories to add to our ever-growing collection. I hope you're ready, Zega Grande. Because here we come. I was, I, it's kind of cool. I want to know. I want to know more about like where the story for this comes from. But it looks like it's from a uh, progress through the main story, and then episode five is as well. So three and four we can do. Oh, and that gives. Oh, I just noticed it's not all just stat increases. You can also get more of the. Ah, uh, looks like you get two of those for doing. That's that's worth. And then I'm assuming they're all in the same boats. The same boats. We can see like what they were, why, how they all got here, and I think that's, I think that's cool. That's probably true for every character that joins us too, huh? Good dang. All right. Well, fate episodes. Oh, I can now it'll show three out of eleven. Um, and there were also trophies for doing that as well. And obviously, you can redo, like you can redo everything, right? Um, so actually, I need to add that to my, thank you, and then, obviously no new weapons, we do have new sigils, but I don't think we can upgrade any of those yet, which is weird. We have field notes for foes, oh, because of the goblins that we all just fought, that's cool. Uh... Is this an alliance by Skyfarers for Skyfarers collects requesting? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. No more than an intermediary agency, and most job patrons are islanders. Only in times of emergency does a lot. Okay, that's that's neat. But they didn't know about this place? But they, they did? We must be like new ones. And then we get... Complete a quest with a full party consisting of the Captain, Catalina, Rock, Rackham, Eo... Eugen or Rosetta from Humble Bee. That's cute. 250 commendations. Oh, that's for... That's cool. That's for... Uh, you get commendations when you do... I wonder if you get them when you're in a group with friends or if it's like... It's just randoms. Got Spirit Breaker as well. Let's see. Uh, all right. We got one fortune shard. We're doing all those. And then gear... Ironsmith? Yep. Looks like that's the one we got. Reach a combined weapon level of 100. Okay, so by doing that, we were able... I see. We were able to get... Uh, wow! Okay, so there... All right. So that's... There's either a ton of weapons or <laughs> something a little bit more likely. Interesting. I did get a rare sigil. Not an uncommon one yet, though. And then the, I guess it's because it's changing, like, there's a bunch of stuff that's changing when you go out of uh, Lyria's thing here, her journal. I'm assuming that's also a little bit faster if you're playing the PS5 version. Again, I am playing the, the PS, I'm playing on PS5, but I'm playing the PS4 version. So sigils we can do, you don't have one, so we can give you uh, Rupee Tycoon, 
which I'm assuming just gives us earn more rupees. The effect doesn't apply to online players in your party, so we'll just give that to him. Sure. And then... Everyone else, I think, has one, except well, Rosetta does not have one, so we'll give her stun power. Stun power boosts stun power. Okay, cool. Well, friendos, I think we're going to end this part here, and uh, we'll kick it back up from talking to Roland and continuing with the actual quest. We've done the, what we... You know, I'm sure there's more. We could, like, grind out these quests and get super OP, but I'd rather... It feels like we should do the main story, you know? Oh, there's also co-op settings. That's... That's... They're like a little... They do a little bit. And, of course, we do have masteries. We could do that stuff, too. That would probably allow us to clear some of those. Anyways, that's going to be it for this part. Uh, we'll probably, we'll probably keep going. Let me know again in the comments if this is something that you keep wanting me to do. I'm not editing these. Like I said, I'm just recording. So if there's any downtime or weird times or whatever, I'm not editing. I'm just throwing them out. Let me know if you like it. Likes, comments, all that jazz. Bye, nerds.